So you've been watching Wicked Tuna saying, man, them guys really make some money. <laughs> well, in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly how much we made catching 2,000 pounds of bluefin tuna. professor people keep asking us online how much did you really make on that fish right and sometimes we've been seeing comments out there from some of these videos folks saying man i think you made way more than that y'all you know, are getting rich you're gonna be millionaires <laughs> gonna be millionaires yeah. well you know what happens is you watch wicked tuna and you get a perception of how much the fish are and that's not quite what it is because correct me if i'm wrong professor my sense is that when they give the number on Wicked Tuna, generally that's the number that the seller who buys it from the commercial fisherman sold it for, not the number that is actually given to the commercial fisherman. Would you say that's probably pretty accurate? It is pretty accurate, and it's also a guesstimate of what he thinks he can get for the fish. There's no way that a buyer's gonna be able to tell you spot on what you're gonna get for a because fish. Because it's done at an auction, right. right? And so now, our fish, and we're gonna look at now six bluefins that we've caught this year. These are our first six bluefin that we caught in 2023, and that, that equates to about 2,000 pounds. Now, generally, there's two options where the fish can go. Yeah. They can go domestic or they can go international. That's right. But we've been told by our buyer, in our buyer's name, Dennis Gore. And Dennis is the one you've seen on Wicked Tuna before. The name of his company is? Sea Fresh Tuna. Sea Fresh Tuna. Yeah. And so you can send it uh, to places like DC, New York City, Boston. That's where a lot of ours have gone locally. And oftentimes they'll go to Japan, but because the 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 yen versus the dollar right. has not been healthy this year, it hasn't made as much sense to send the fish to Japan. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of things influence, like the domestic market. You have a blizzard or a cold snap. People don't go out and eat in restaurants like they normally would. So it's all, there's no way that he can tell you right there spot on. And also keep in mind, when we talk about 2,000 pounds, it's not the head and tail on the fish. It's what they call a core weight. Yes. Is the head off, the tail off, and the tuna is gutted, prepared to go to a restaurant. That's right. So let's get to the numbers, Professor, and see how we did. So I'm gonna read out each fish. These are the first six fish, not in any particular order, and what we, what we got paid for each one of those fish. Now keep in mind that the seller that the buyer, again, sells it for a higher number than what I'm gonna tell you here. This is what we got paid. Yeah. And there's also another fee for O'Neill's that comes off of that, that we got paid. That's right, so O'Neill's is where we bring the tuna. So if you've ever seen Wicked Tuna and they bring the tuna and there's those, those helpers that have the forklift, they take the tuna off. Well, that's O'Neill's in Wan Cheese, North Carolina, all right? So they have to get a fee and they get 0.75 per pound or 75 cents per pound of the fish yep. goes to the O'Neill's fee. And so with that being said, we had a fish that was 393 pounds and that was 950 per pound minus 75 cents, yep. minus 75 cents. And each one of these is minus 75 cents per pound yeah. is what it ended up being. So that ended up being $8.75 per pound, all right? Then we had a 440 pounder, and that was $8 a pound and- 7.25 after the package. 7.25 after package, that's right. We had an 84 incher, and that was 256 pounds, $12 a pound or 11.25. Now, we've been told that generally the shorter fish actually get more per pound oftentimes. And the reason, of course, well, not necessarily the shorter fish, but Excuse me, the the the, the, the fish that weigh less. Well, and I'm not even sure that that's exactly a true statement. It's the where we're catching the smaller fish, they're having a different diet and they're eating on bunkers and stuff like that. 
that makes their meat more greasy and yeah. oily and fatty. It's what that's what the buyers are looking for. So uh, these fish, where we're, in the area where we're catching the smaller ones, they have a higher fat content and a clearer core and stuff like that. So although we're catching smaller fish in the 80, 82, 84 inch range, they're really high in quality. But the larger fish have less quality, less fat, but it's it's kind of a guessing game because yeah. you know you're not getting double the money for the shorter fish. Not at all. You know what I mean? You might get 12 for a short one. And part of it too, what Dennis said is sometimes the the ones that weigh less are easier to sell yeah. on the market. They move faster. They move faster, yeah. which increases the price a little bit. That's right. Yeah. And so that's something just I didn't realize yeah. um, that in the more the more fish in the market, the harder it is to move the ones. He said, basically, Dennis has said, the kiss of death is when you have a huge fish with no no fat because that's it's right. very hard to sell. That's right. And that's when you see a $4 a pound, $5 a pound yeah. monster and like Dennis that. Dennis has been great to work with because this year we actually had a bluefin that had a tumor in its belly. And um, he was concerned about selling the fish whole because it wasn't going to bring in a whole lot of money. So he actually, the people there at O'Neill's worked with him and we parted the fish out. And uh, from what I understand, we did pretty good doing that. You know, I think it still brought about nine, nine dollars yeah. in a pound. Yeah. And uh, just because, you know, uh, a, a wholesale buyer would have looked in, you know, that, that tuna's belly and saw the tumor and, you know, low you. You that's know right. what I mean? So not that there was anything wrong with the fish. I mean, that's, that's another reason that he wanted to part it out and inspect the meat and everything and make sure that the tumor was concentrated in one area and there was nothing else wrong with the rest of the fish. But Props to Dennis for doing that for us. Yeah, props to Dennis. He's been fun to work with. So that was uh, 84 inches, 256 pounds, $12 a pound. Just a couple more. We had one that was 108 inches. Boy, that was the big one of the season. That was a good one. 559 pounds. And we got $11 a pound, so that ended up at 1025. That was our best fish. And in fact, that's what this check is. Our biggest single check for fish so far this year has been $5,729, and that was for this 559 pound fish, 108 inches. And then our uh, last one, I believe, we had, a, we had two more, an 80 incher, that was 210 pounds, $12 a pound. And then we had another 80 incher, that was on a slim fast diet, it was 170 pounds. Yeah. All in all, that's just over 2,000 pounds of bluefin tuna. And so with that, Professor, the total amount that we've gotten paid, I think you have it in your notes, yeah, it's the about to nine, total amount paid is? $19,500. About $19,500. Now you're, th you're thinking to yourself, well, they made that. Okay, so let's analyze it. This was six fish that was caught over the course of 10 trips, and this right. is important. You don't always catch, sometimes we spent the night, sometimes we just got like the first day of the season, we caught one, but it was short. And so couldn't couldn't keep it, so we didn't catch that day, right? right. So what you're hearing here is six fish caught over the course of 10, we'll call it trips, yeah. 10 days, 10 trips. And that means we got paid 19,500, but the fuel spend for that, Professor, was? Well, we, we figure our expenses for each trip is $1,000. Yep. Fuel, bait, ice, and any other miscellaneous fees. Which is actually less than a lot of the boats because we do have a more fuel efficient boat. If this boat was, let's say, uh, 55 feet long, we're probably spending at least one and a half times, if not more than that, sometimes double on fuel than we've been spending. That's right. And so we have that advantage. So with that being said, our expenses around 10,000, yeah. the check that we got paid for those six fish, about $19,500, which leaves ding, 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 a grand total of $9,500 of, you can call it somewhat profit right. <laughs> for, for those six fish. Keep in mind, we haven't talked about wear and tear on the boat. Yeah. And then you take that $9,500, a percentage goes to the boat and a percentage goes to the crew. And so you basically got three crew members here yeah. who are taking their cut from that $9,500. And if you think about it, that over the course of 10 days, you know what I mean? It's really not a lot of money. It's not a lot because they're also working way more than 40 hours a week when they're when oh, they're working. Yeah, I mean, this sure. is an all-day yeah. 
mega grind, yep. you're not really doing it all to get rich. You're doing it for the love of it. The love of it. Right, in the thrill of the hunt. In the thrill of the hunt, because it is very thrilling <laughs> to catch a bluefin tuna. Yep. Bluefin tuna. Mm -hmm. and, it would be even more thrilling to have you out with us catching, whether it's bluefin or this summer, big eye, yellowfin, mahi, wahoo, billfish, professor, they're all gonna be there. They're all gonna be there. And so hopefully you're coming out and joining us. So check us out. You can schedule your trip at speechlesssportfishing.com. He's the professor, I'm Marcus. I'm not a very good fisherman, but I'm trying to be like this guy. And we are learning together, you and I. Visit us, Pirates Cove Marina, slip number 92. And until the next time, everyone, stay salty.